Tesla announced that its chief financial officer, Zachary Kirkhorn, once thought to be a possible successor to CEO Elon Musk, is leaving the company. The electric vehicle maker did not specify a reason, but in a LinkedIn post on Monday, Kirkhorn wrote, quote, this morning, Tesla announced that I've stepped down from my role as chief financial officer, succeeded by our chief accounting officer, Vebhav Taneja. Being a part of this company is a special experience, and I'm extremely proud of the work we've done together since I joined over 13 years ago. He also thanked Musk for his, quote, leadership and optimism. Kirkhorn did not immediately respond to queries when contacted on LinkedIn. During his tenure, Tesla posted its first quarterly profit after it launched the mass market Model 3 compact sedan and hit a market valuation of more than $1 trillion. The Wall Street Journal reported earlier this year that Kirkhorn was being considered as a candidate to replace Musk amid growing investor concern about the lack of a clear succession plan. He will remain with the company through the end of the year to help with a smooth transition. Replacing Kirkhorn in the CFO role, dubbed Master of Coin by the company, is Vebhav Taneja, who will also retain his current job as Chief Accounting Officer. Tesla this year has cut prices on its vehicles in an effort to prioritize sales growth and market share, squeezing its industry-leading margins. It's hinted at more price cuts to come in what Musk called turbulent times as rising borrowing costs take a toll on the sales of electric vehicle makers. Tesla shares fell as much as 4% in Monday morning trading. Email exchanges from inside the BBC, they talk about the risk of violating Indian laws. It's easier to rake up the freedom of speech debate, but does it give anyone a free pass to knowingly violate the law? America supports India because it needs India's support in return. And India is working with the US because it suits India's interests. This is how geopolitics works. Last night, he diffused a crisis with his defense minister. But today, Netanyahu was confronted with a new problem. His cabinet seems to have rebelled against him. The UK is looking at the Indian subcontinent to fill its coffers. That India seems to be negotiating from a position of power like a partner and not a former colony. The US and Russia are dangerously close to an armed conflict. This year, 2023, New Delhi will be the capital of global diplomacy. For a country as diverse as ours, with 88% of the population illiterate, it was a very big deal to write a constitution, and that too, the world's largest. Meanwhile, if we may, here's a Republic Day gift from India for the BBC. A list of suggestions for the BBC for their upcoming documentaries. Number one. The Kohinoor and the Colonial Loot. Number two, an outdated monarchy and unhealthy obsession with the royals. Number three, racism in 2023. We're waiting.